my gosh! No way! Can we fire under? Oh! I don't think it's a snorkel! This is how it's working! Oh, it's got a weight! Wow! Fellas, today we're being powered and sponsored by Conflict of Nations. What this game is, is a massive, grand, real-time military strategy game where you're in control of the latest and greatest war technology from the late 20th century to the early 21st century with over a hundred different units to research, customize, and to lay down on the battlefield. From stealth fighters, from nuclear submarines, Abrams, Apaches, airborne infantry, there's a ton of ways to play Conflict the Nations. And speaking about playing, how Conflict the Nation plays isn't some fast RTS with the fastest units or the best units win. This is a strategic game where you have to make sure your economy's in line to push out your units and to supply them with resources to fight. It's not just military, it's strategic and logistics planning. Fellas, support the channel heavily by clicking the link description below to download free to play Conflict of Nations that is for mobile and seamlessly goes to desktop. Very nice feature. That link description below, if you download today, you'll get 13,000 gold, which helps upgrade units very quickly. One month of premium time for free, and it's only available for 30 days. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's video has something completely out of this world, at least for War Thunder, and I think actually the world. Uh, this is something that no one has asked for, but um, we are showcasing this today. Many thanks to Swarst for building this out of his kindness of his heart and implementing it into an alpha test mission for us to toy around and have fun before all the bells and whistles are attached to it to make it more uh, realistic. This is this is where the fun comes in. Um, but for those who didn't read the title or for those who didn't look at the thumbnail, uh, this will be a huge surprise to you. Uh, here we go. Svea! <laughs> oh, gosh. We're going to keep it arcade battles just so we can use this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the 800 millimeter rail cannon, uh, the Sphere Gustav. Look at this thing. So um, this is this is the Sphere. I'm just uh, yeah. This is the Gustav on. <laughs> yeah, that, that's going to come in at a perfect uh, uh, timing in, in a little bit. Um, this is it on steroids. Uh, this cannon, unlike the real one, uh, we don't need a rail yet uh, because we have so much power and the wheels are made out of sandpaper for extra grip. Um, it also um, it it also has its own internal locomotive in this. Let's let's look. Okay, no, we can't yet. Uh, so it it can move under its own power without having to have a engine or a locomotive pull it. So it's Less crew and uh, less personnel. Well, that's the same thing. Less personnel uh, using it. Also, uh, this one has an auto cannon. <laughs> oh my gosh! The recoil is unbelievable. Okay, so we have some targets over here. Just gonna just. It's going to take, yeah, see, it's very super traction-y. Look at that. Boom. I wonder what you would call this locomotive. Um, here, let's count the wheels. I don't know if they're symmetrical. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it's a 20, zero, 20 configuration. <laughs> um, but what would be really cool if uh, once this is more uh, completed, <laughs> that train whistle, it, it, I, I don't know why it does it, but it, it just comes in and at the worst times. I wonder once this is completed, will we be able to see it being reloaded? 
That might be a. I, I actually don't think War Thunder CDK will allow you to model that much. But okay. Roger that. We're moving into position. So in front of us, we have uh, three targets. Okay, we're going to. Okay, we're not stopping. We're not. We're stopping. We're stopping. Okay, I mean, this is actually good. We're we're in a uh, the recoil. Oh yeah, there we go. That's our reverse button. Okay, and stopping her. So we have three targets: five kilometers, ten, and twenty. I'm really not going to shoot at the twenty-one, but as as you can see, Roger that. Twelve o'clock. We're gonna aim for 5,000. Kinda just a little bit higher. Yeah, right there looks good. Just, just let it rip. <laughs> That's on target. Oh, I gotta fire another one. <laughs> that one's gonna be off target. We've moved back point zero two. Hang on, we need to get, there we go. What are we at? 5,000. All right, look here. We'll just go. There we go. That that should do it, I would I want to say. No. <gasps> that one's no, doing it. No. Oh, Let's try to go a little bit lower here. What? What are you doing over there? That looks perfect. So hang on. We're gonna fire multiple shots. The Gustav rifling is um. Oh, there we go. Hit. It's kind of it's, it, it, it kind of gets destroyed after a little bit. Train horn. All right, we got 10 kilometers on. It looks like a Russian light cruiser. All right. Now, I'm going to assume that this is 10,000. The scope doesn't go that high. I'm just going to assume. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to probably go for this one. The flight time is unreal. Oh, that's not bad. A little bit higher. Fire! Look at this thing. Are we, are we, are we, we're about to fall off this uh, this platform, I think. Okay, we're a little bit higher, but okay. So we kind of we, we, we kind of have the gist of this. Um, but like, think about if uh, the Germans could have made this an auto load. Like, like they wouldn't need an air force. They could just have like 400 of these guarding the English Channel. And you know some other mil or some other technology uh, G advancements to make it a uh, uh, whatever. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up, right? Just shut up. Okay, so just check this out though. It's a bit lower. It looks so cool like this. Look at that. I wish I could zoom out more. There you go. That see them in the sky look at that 800 millimeter frag rounds or flak rounds all right all right roger that we're moving all aboard we're just gonna be uh you know just watching out for trees and or people okay 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 sandpaper activate nice okay we're stuck here no we're not no we're not okay um we're gonna be doing a maybe a four point a three point turn here We're gonna to try to bring this into the city here to refuel it. This does take gasoline, not diesel, so we have to go to a... Okay, I think we're... Whoa, look at that. Oh, darn, yeah, that's, there we go. Come on, get on target. I know we're sinking into the ground. There we go. Oh, dude, we were so close. I think we're bugged in the ground here. 
All right, a little bit better. No firing while we're maneuvering here. We're just going to swing this thing like that. Yes. There we go. Much better. We're already ready to move forward. Roger that. All aboard. Going in the going into town with my Gustav. Got to pick up groceries and the kids from Hitler Youth School. Oh, okay, now we're stuck. Okay, no, we're, we're still moving. All right, we got a little blockade here. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't think there's a way for us to get a... <gasps> there is, but if we fire, if we fire off that platform, like, I, 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 I'm pretty sure that platform has been reinforced with some, some good concrete. We get stuck in the ground, so... We're just gonna just go for a drive, not use the gun. Okay, we need to go to the right, and then I think we're scot free. Hopefully, it just doesn't interact with the soil. That wouldn't be good. I'm trying to go right here. God, my barrel's just sticking out. gonna dig ourselves into the ground here. No, oh, come on, sink through the map. I know you want to. Don't hold the regulations. Let it just let it go. I wish I could blow it up. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. We can do this. I want to get this thing. Uh-oh. What, what, what do we hit? I don't know. That actually took a lot longer than I wanted. Uh, I, I want to admit, but uh, we're 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 moving to another battlefield here. I really wonder how uh, how fast this thing can get up to speed here. I mean, we're definitely at fifty kilometers an hour. Like it might seem slow, but we are a giant vehicle. Oh, oh yes, very maneuverable. Hey, is there a train track in here? Oh gosh, we're stuck. Yep, there we go. No, I think there's just an airport here. But wouldn't any feasible modern airport have a rail connecting it to it? I think I see rail. No, that's... No. no. Fire under. Oh! I don't think it's a snorkel. This is how it's working. Oh, it's got a wake. Wow. I wonder how deep we can go. Oh, I think we're at the box. All right, fellas. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. We will see you hopefully soon. Thank you for spending some time here on the channel and uh, expect the unexpected on the fly daily on the flop wop. Be safe, guys. See you soon. Peace out. Fellas, thank you for the ongoing support and conflict of nations. Thank you for powering and sponsoring today's video.